What up, this is Rama Screen, covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Zombieland Double Tap. Hey, before you watch this review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. I gotta be honest with you. I am pleasantly surprised by how much fun this sequel is. Because I re-watched the first movie again prior to watching Double Tap, and it made me realize that the first movie had a lot of downtime, way more than I would like it to, more than I cared for. But Double Tap is all about thrill ride after thrill ride after thrill ride, non-stop action-packed popcorn super blast. It's so good to see the gang back together again. 10 years just flew by in a blink of an eye, but it's like they never left at all. Because you can sense that the on-screen camaraderie is still there. It's still intact. They really are like the Ghostbusters of the zombie apocalypse. Such a bloody awesome sequel. Once again, starring Woody Harrelson, Jesse Eisenberg, Abigail Breslin, and Emma Stone, also returning are director Ruben Fleischer and the original writers Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick in Zombieland Double Tap. Columbus, Wichita, Little Rock, and Tallahassee have grown accustomed to living in their home at the White House, so much so that the now-grown Little Rock desperately wants to leave the nest, and Columbus's proposal to Wichita gives enough reason for both Wichita and Little Rock to finally go out on their own again. But Little Rock runs away, forcing Wichita to return and get help from Columbus and Tallahassee in order to find her little sister. And on this search and rescue mission, they encounter new human survivors and also new zombies that apparently have evolved since the first film. But most of all, they have to face the growing pains of their own snarky, dysfunctional family. Usually, in sequels, when they introduce new characters, sometimes those new characters would cause the story to go uneven, and sometimes they even push some of the lead characters into the background. I guess you can say that that also kind of happens here with regards to Abigail's character Little Rock, being the MacGuffin of this sequel, but it's never to the point where she's completely brushed aside. And there are about five notable new additions, played by Thomas Middleditch, Luke Wilson, Rosario Dawson, Zoe Deutsch, Avan Jogia, and all of them leave a hell of an impression. Not all of the jokes land, unfortunately. In fact, many of the jokes feel like the writers are just throwing anything against the wall, hoping some of them would stick. But despite that, those five actors have enough charisma to be able to keep up with the four leads. Zoe, in particular, with her exaggerated valley blonde girl attitude, will have you rolling on the floor. I think the biggest thing that wins me over about Zombieland Double Tap, in addition to the fact that the zombies are now more relentless and more hard to kill this time around, are the action set pieces. There's one in the middle of the story that looks like it was shot on one long take, although perhaps it was done to give you the illusion like it was shot that way. The whole sequence kind of reminds you of that one similar awesome scene from the movie Game Night, where they toss the Fabergé egg from one hallway to the next. In this case, it's a zombie fight, and the camera continuously follows the characters as they are being attacked, and it's well choreographed, and it adds to the suspense and the chaos. I guess what I'm trying to say is that, as an action horror comedy, the action horror elements pick up the slack whenever the comedy may not deliver 100%. The movie does come across as if everybody involved with this project was just having a great time working on it. Columbus's rules find their match against a new character's commandments, and the catchphrases are also still around, but they are never really too played out, thankfully. And the characters are also sort of self-aware, if you will, there are even references to Uber or Rideshare. Again, they are not necessarily hilarious, but they are little efforts here and there by Zombieland Double Tap to relate 
to 10 years since the first film audiences. At the end of the day, it's the four leads that get us through. I mean, this whole franchise would not have worked if it had starred anybody else other than Jesse, Woody, Abigail, and Emma. They are so likable that we will eat up whatever little character development that the story's got going for them and we will let it slip by. Let's keep our fingers crossed that they will reunite again 10 years from now for Zombieland 3 because I sure as hell will be totally there to watch it.